Alright, so we're going to declare some textures. And these are going to hold the buttons. These are going to be the button textures that we added to the uh, sprites. Here. Yeah. Okay, so declare the textures. Okay, we're going to need uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8 of them. So I'll fill them in in a second. Okay, that's 8. Call one panel. New map. Save map. Load map. Load tiles. Back layer. Front layer. And collision layer. And that's all the textures we need. Next, we're going to declare the position of the HUD itself. Okay, so it's a vector 2. And it's position. Alright. Now we want to declare a list of buttons. And this is just going to be easier. Um, when we're checking for events and things like that. And because we inherited all those other buttons from the button class, that makes it a lot easier. We can just put them all in the same list. Like that. So we're declaring a button list, even though the other ones aren't actually buttons. Of type button, that's okay, they can fit in that list. So we'll make the constructor for the HUD class now. And what we want to do is pass in a content manager. And that will be called content. Um, the other methods that we're going to need in this are update. So public void update. And we need a draw, so public void draw. Okay, so in the constructor we're going to have to load all the sprites. So we're going to load the button textures. So it's panel equals new map. Panel equals new map, what am I holding? Content dot load texture two D and then we want to put in the file path and that's at sprites panel. Okay, great. I have the rest of these already done, but you can fill them in yourself. There's no point in watching me do it. We have the new map one, and that's got new map button, save map, save map button, load map, load map button, and etc. etc. You can take a good look at that anyway, and you'll be able to see where that comes in. Um, next, we want to initialize the position. Okay, so position equals new vector 2 0 and we want it to be an integer and that's game 1 dot client bounds dot y minus panel dot head and that's just making it at the very bottom of the screen that's where we're putting the position so now we want to add the, bu the buttons to the button list Okay, so we want to go buttons dot add. We'll go new 
new map button new map is the texture the position is going to be a new vector 2 at position dot x plus 25 and position dot y plus 25 okay that's, that's that constructor finished right so that's that added um, I was going to lift a bracket right I'm going to add these other ones in quickly here because I want to get this done um, okay that's not what I called that in this one I called it load tile button okay so that's all those put in you can have a good look at these positions that I've put them in at and they, they work out perfectly so the update function is going to be four we want to loop through actually I'll start off with the comment loop through the button list and i equals zero i less than buttons dot count that's the very highest value in it and i plus plus three each loop okay so we want to update the button update the button buttons i dot update Then we want to check if it's clicked. Check for clicks. If buttons i dot clicked, then buttons i dot effect. So if the button is clicked, then we want to fire the effect. And we want to draw the panel here now in the draw function the panel and that's it it's just game one that sprite batch that draw uh, at the panel texture at that position um, and the white color so we want to draw the buttons now so we want another loop that same loop again we'll just take that and copy it down here say buttons i dot draw okay so that loops through and draws all the buttons let's just check that compiles nope load tile set load tiles that's what I called it and load tiles alright that's great so I'm just going to quickly add this HUD into the game one class so up here we want to uh, declare the GUI. So that's dot HUD, and we want to initialize that um, down in the load content. Okay, down here. So that's HUD equals new map editor dot GUI and pass in content. Then we want to update it. Okay, so that's HUD dot update, and then we want to draw it. Alright. And there we have it.